Good afternoon, everybody. It's November the 25th, 2017. Uh, time for another episode of Bill Bing's Trumpet Talk. I haven't put an episode up for a while because, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure if I had anything to say. But recently, I've been working a lot on one of the things that has really perplexed me over the last year or so, and that is try to fill in the missing part of what I think are some of the most important parts about trumpet playing and how, in this case, to use the air so that I can play higher, stronger, have more endurance. And I have learned, I think, to use less pressure. Uh, I've uh, been working on playing low to high and maintaining the same embouchure. And those things seem to be coming along better in my playing. But I really haven't figured out until recently, to my satisfaction, how to increase the airspeed as I play higher. And uh, this I understand from uh, people that are much better in the upper register than I am, that uh, if you want to play well in the upper register, you have to have more airspeed. And I never could quite figure that out, uh, but I've been putting some things together, and so I thought I'd mention them and see if they might also help you. In particular, I've been using some breathing devices. I think I've talked about a few of these in the past, but I use three of them on a regular basis now. And the first one is, I think, more of an inspirometer. And uh, this is helping to measure the airspeed as I uh, breathe in. And most of the devices, many of the devices uh, will breathe, tell you how much uh, vital capacity you have. For example, I did a study on pulmonary function in brass players many years ago just to make sure I, that I had enough lung uh, vital capacity. And it turns out everybody does have enough vital capacity. And uh, Bud Brisboy, the great high note uh, player, uh, is uh, when I went to his house and tested his breathing, uh, he had one of the lowest test levels. And it turns out he had asthma. But even though he had uh, difficulty uh, with uh, his uh, FEV or forced expiration, uh, he still managed to use the air in such a way that he was great at playing high notes and he was a wonderful person. So uh, that's Bud Brisboy, but uh, it turns out that we all have enough air, so you don't have to worry about that, enough capacity, it's how you use it, right? So the first thing that I do is use this device so that I can take a breath in and measure how much air I can take in. Now some of my students easily move this right up to the top. For me, on a good day, I can get it up to a, a, this level right here. Uh, so I've been doing that a bit and showing some progress on being able to take a breath in. As an alternative, you can just do that way with less resistance or more resistance. And I'll talk about the importance of resistance as you're inhaling and exhaling uh, in a bit. But the second device I use is what is called a breath builder. And this is commonly found on the internet. Uh, the first device I showed you is about uh, $8, $9 on Amazon. This one, uh, I think I found it on Musician's Friend for $17. I used to be able to get them for 12 years ago, but uh, they're up to 17 now. You, you, there's all kinds of different prices on this. But in any case, they come with these two tubes. And you start with using the bigger tube. And I've gotten to now where I think the small tube is more helpful. And there are different ways to use this device as well. One important thing that I got from Claude Gordon was don't let your chest drop as you exhale. <sighs> Try to keep the chest up as you exhale. The other thing is now I'm realizing the importance of more resistance as I breathe in and as I breathe out. I try to keep the resistance strong and that helps me to realize my goal which is to use my torso as the bellows and I think I remember Frank Kataravic talking about this years ago great first trumpet player in the Detroit Symphony in the Philadelphia Orchestra I also played third trumpet with the Chicago Symphony but I remember other players saying use this as bellows use this torso <sighs> as bellows and then I recently been watching some uh, Maynard Ferguson videos where he does exactly that. So I've been trying to figure out, okay, how can I do better at using the torso as a bellows? 
to get the air out, not only to get the air out, but to get it out fast. That's sort of the critical component when you're playing high. So then John Lewis told me about this device, which is called a power lawn. And unfortunately, this is a bit pricier. I'm not sure how much they are now. I think I paid 80 or $90 for this. John suggests, uh, John Lewis, the great studio player here in Los Angeles, has played first trumpet on the last two John Williams movies. And this is a power lawn. And you can adjust a variable uh, resistance, which is handy. Another thing I do from Claude Gordon is to really get the air out, as much air as possible out. So that also works the torso and the breathing muscles. So when it comes time to playing, You know, I just put a ridiculous amount of air and fast air. And it helps a lot in the middle register and it also helps as I go to the upper register. You know, I can play up to a C pretty easily. And uh, if it goes higher than that, I have somebody younger and healthier <laughs> take care of the upper register. But my upper register is getting better. And I attribute it to doing these kinds of breathing exercises. So in addition to these other components that I use and talk about one in my previous videos that I think are really important, such as keeping the corners firm, moving the corners as you go forward, keeping that lower lip rolled out as much as possible with the three points of strength, one here, one here, and a chin, the third point of strength with a string with a ball hanging on the end of it, the mass of the ball increases as you go higher, which keeps this important shape, right? You want that inverted C this shape as you were almost every player whether it be Dizzy Gillespie or anybody that blows their cheeks out they still keep this shape so that's really important as well so we've got the embouchure that has to be strong so it can permit this fast uh, moving air uh, to go in place without collapsing so you have to practice to build your chops up and you build your chops up properly and then the embouchure can hold so you can move the air fast. And then you use less pressure by doing uh, these kinds of exercises as Javier has mentioned, where you're doing, right? That's this. And then he has you go to and higher as only Javier can do. Well, not only Javier, but there's a, others that are really great at it, but he's one of them. But he came up with that. Uh, I call it, I used to call it Javier's torture. Now I call it Javier's delight. So this is, these are all pieces of the puzzle that I've been trying to put together for a number of years. And I think I've got most of the pieces of the puzzle put together now. I've done a lot of uh, analysis of correct embouchure, correct breathing, uh, and, uh, Putting those all together using less pressure has uh, led to some really pretty good improvement in my playing. Even uh, though I'm 70 years old, I feel like I am getting stronger. So uh, that's uh, my contribution for today. I haven't had a video up for a while, but I wanted to let you know about some of my recent thoughts, especially regarding uh, breathing. Finally, uh, if you can't get those devices, you can substitute a finger. So when you breathe, if you want greater resistance, you move the finger in place and keep the chops closer together. If you want less resistance, you can do that and take a big breath. They both are helpful. And then exhaling, you can use the resistance of the finger in front of the chops to help build up your chops. And then when you play using the torso concept of moving the air from there, and uh, watch some of these great players. Uh, go back and watch some Maynard Ferguson videos because he does exactly that. All right, well, I hope this has been helpful. And uh, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching. Uh, I have over 200,000 hits, uh, over 1,000 people watching on a regular basis. So thanks for watching and uh, enjoy your playing and keep blowing. Take care.